You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Garrett McClendon. We're talking about a heavyweight. Not only is he a big dude, uh, former runway model, but uh, he's also got a big uh, soul. And he shares with us today his journey in recovery, journey in life, which included jails, institutions, prisons too, uh, but God willing, not death. And now he has a story to share, and it's amazing. He's been sober since May of 2013, and he, uh, he delivers a message of weight and depth. He mentioned that a few times during this conversation. And if you're looking for inspiration and enthusiasm and a way out of addiction or a way to keep going, Garrett McClendon uh, is your guy. Coming right up, but first, Kevin Souza. Yo, I, I gotta tell you something. So first of all, yeah. we're 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 rolling right now, okay? Sweet, dude, sweet. So here's what I want to tell you. One, so while while you're 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 getting everything together because it's early in the morning out there, I hear the doorbell ring, and it's it's clearly to me that sounds like it was one of your one of your son's friends, yeah. right? His ringing the doorbell at nine in the morning out there in Southern California, like, and and you were like the jolly old dad, like. I would imagine like 12, 13 years ago, people are ringing your doorbell, Garrett. And, 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 and it's a, the interaction is, is not quite as light and warm and fuzzy. I'm going to tell you 12 or 13 years ago, uh, there probably wasn't no, the doorbell probably didn't work, you know, I'm, <laughs> and it definitely was never no kids around coming in my house, being a, being a jolly old, being a, being a, a great dad. I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, I am. Um, I was very first. I've been on. I'm a full time dad now, you know, and yeah. uh, and you know, I, I, I know I, I didn't have full custody of my daughter, you know, because I was in and out of prison her whole life, and I didn't, you know, reestablish that connection until, you know, she was eight eight years old, and until present, my my second son, you know, I, I just you know for whatever reasons I didn't, you know, I it, it's fifty fifty custody, right? Yeah. But my my third son, dude, I got full time, and I'm gonna tell you, man, as scary as it was at first, like if you don't know. You know, a lot of, maybe a lot of stuff comes through that you have to work through. But I'm gonna tell you, being a dad is is one of the greatest gifts ever I could ever think of, man. And 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 having his, all those little friends come over <laughs> in the neighborhood and they're in, they play in my they they like I, I fix their bikes, I I take them, you know. Uh, well, I, I just got, I just got the feeling that your house is is like that central point. Where it people is, come and gather. It is, it is central point, dude. They come over to my house, and and and, and I'm gonna tell you, they, there's sometimes that some of his friends, and they're and they're young. This is like five to seven range, you know. They they literally just walk right in and they grab his, and they I'll be sitting here watching news in the morning, and they'll come to my garage, come to my door, I'm like what? And they and they like, oh, where's Axel at? Oh, he's not here. Oh, well, I'm just going to grab this fire truck real quick, you know, and they don't grab this fire <laughs> truck, you know, Hey, walk back out. Oh, you know, and, uh, I, I, dude, I love it, man. That is, that is growth right there. That is like, um, you know, I, I it just like, I, I, first of all, to have my kids just out there in the neighborhood playing with other kids is just, uh, a great thing. He's not on video games. He's not, you know, he's not like isolated in his room that like he's out there doing boy stuff with other boys in the neighborhood, you know, I got to like put all my tools and stuff on the higher shelves, you know, and, and, and then keep all their stuff lower, you know, cause they're in there, they're in there grabbing my stuff, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I love it. Hang on one second. Yep. Sure. 
All right, so let's let's. I want to get to. Uh, I want to get to your story. I know. I know a lot about it, but you. I guess what was it May of 2013? You 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 you're so you get sober for for good, right? One day at a time. March March 17th of 2013, I arrive at a I arrive at a another treatment center. Okay, so I want to uh, know how, how how we got there. Take me back to. You know, you, you grew up in Southern California, but you, you said it was like the desert. You never, you never were at the beach. You, you, you never, you know, I didn't go to the beach for, I didn't go to the beach for like 15. I went to the beach one time and, um, you know, in 15 years, you know, and, yeah. uh, and maybe even more than that. I'm going to tell you, I grew up in Animal Valley, Palmdale, Lancaster area. Um, I, uh, you know, I come from, uh, you know, uh, uh, I didn't talk to my dad. I, I mean, my parents were divorced. I, I had my, I had my, I stayed with my mom. My sister stayed with my dad, you know, best of both wor- the best of both worlds. My dad, my dad was, um, you know, my dad was a, a, a very successful businessman, a normal, you know, a normie, right. You know, just, uh, he, he was a man and he got remarried. He was married for 35 years, remarried for 35 years, uh, you know, uh, great, you know, salesman, raised a couple other kids, which I got, you know, a couple stepsisters, you know, just a, a, a very honorable and, and, and man. And uh, and for some reason, like, I, I wasn't, I was a mama's boy at heart, dude. And, uh, I, I, and by the time I, I got to, like, 15, I, you know, my, I was with my mom. My mom, I, I my mom was uh, in the drugs and you know, and uh, alcohol and, and, and lots of different men. And we moved around house to house to house. And, and by the time I was 15 years old, uh, you know, I, I you know, I, I, I was in high school. I go to my dad's house. I drink. I party with my sisters. You know, we go out and um, and like I, I, I sleep and eat. I feel like I sleep and eat over there. And then I, I come back to my uh, I come back to my um, mom's house. And uh, and there was a all, all kinds of chaos, you know, and, 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 and the chaos as it was, is that that was a normal life for me. You yeah. Know? Like, Did you find yourself I, um, kind of almost fitting right in there? Yeah. Just like, that was just a normal life, you know, uh, in, in, in high school, I, you know, freshman year in high school is the year I went and the year I left, you know? And, um, at, at that point, uh, there was homeless people in my backyard. I stayed with my mom, this place, a little Alcatraz and, we live in the corner. My grandma lived in the unit next to us, and there was all kinds of people living in the backyard and and then and throughout the front yard and around the complex. And um, um, and uh, I and there was this kid that stayed back there with his dad. I mean, we we're the same age and and build and height and stuff like that. We sort of like we 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 hung out, but we didn't hang hang out. And uh, I would we would swap out pants and shirts. You know we. We sort of, so we, we didn't like wearing the same stuff to school every day. And, uh, I, I spent most of my time by this time, I'm already, I'm already using methamphetamine. I'm already smoking weed. I'm already drinking, you know, uh, and I'm about to say, I'm not drinking so much. And I'm really not smoking that, that much weed. And what that is, is I'm, I'm, I'm going heavy into the methamphetamine and, uh, and I disappear on my bicycle for, you know, one week, one day, two weeks, I don't know, three weeks at a time. And then this I, is in I, high school. This is high school, man. This is this is high school, man. And uh, I sort of learned how to how to like hustle, man. You know, and so I was out there just you know supporting my habit through my hustle. Was that was that at at that age? Do you do you like are all your priorities kind of now gone? Like like any 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 goals or whatever, right? Because that's what we do. We kind of lower our goals to meet like our existence. Yeah, I mean, like in a way, like the only I, I at this time, what I really wanted is I wanted to, you know, like uh, I, I, just before this, I sort of was doing like a little bit of runway modeling, you know, like I, I and I really loved it, you know. They liked me, you know, and and, and maybe that's where I wanted to go with it, you know, like. And, and How did stuff. you get involved in modeling? Clearly, you're a handsome dude, but what, yeah, what like, but like what started all just that? Just another a, 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 a kid of mine, a friend of mine, I grew up with, man. He, his mom had him in it. And so, like, you know, I hung out with him all the time. So they had me doing it with them, you know, and uh, I got picked up really easy, really fast. You know, I'm tall, but, you know, all this stuff. And uh, but the thing is, is somewhere in between at that point, man, I, I really might, you know, the, the disease was really going, you know, I, I you know, I, I can't. But first of all, I don't have a, a structured enough life 
and and family wise to even be like, all right, mom, I need to write here yeah. to for a portfolio, or I need to go to this studios because they they wanted it. Just that you know, like I'm limited on my work, you know, and um, and uh, man, I'm I'm gonna tell you, but my freshman year in high school, I left. You know, it was like I got too busy for school. Uh, I'm hanging out with guys that are twice my age. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to make a dollar. Maybe, and, and at this point, I, I'm really addicted to this life. I'm, I'm, I'm getting addicted to this lifestyle of fast money. I, I, my dad, I have one of those talks with my dad because I, I get caught over there with like some weed and, and partying and stuff. And he has this, you know, those talks, you know, like, hey, if you're going to be living or doing that kind of stuff, it's not allowed at my house. And uh, so right. you just so said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to take off. Then I'm just not coming over because, uh, you know, that that that's what was attractive for me at that time. You know, and um, and I, you know, what's crazy about that is is uh, and I and I joke with my sister all the time. And like, I don't it was even like my stuff. It was like my sister's stuff. And like she they found it and they blamed me. And then so there I am, you know, yeah. I have to, you know, and, and I took this rap. But like, but that talk was real and that, you know, and, and, and which it, he was probably just looking for the reason or, or to have that conversation with me, you know, because I'm coming to his house. I'm, I'm eating a couple of hamburgers and and I'm and I'm and I'm out for like, you know, and all I'm doing is like I'm I'm wait, I'm in constant like I'm I'm. I'm I'm sleeping. I'm waking up. I'm eating. I'm back out for four to five hours. You know, like a, oh yeah, you know, I'm, yeah. You know, just food. You know, just feeding my system and resting. You know, and like, what's wrong with you? You know, and uh, you know, and um. So, Gary, you you mentioned you're addicted to the life and the fast money. At this yeah. point in time, are you are you making your own meth? Are you dealing meth? Like, what's going on? Man, at this time, I'm just I'm just hanging out with all those guys that are doing all that stuff, and from the age of fifteen to to 19 years old, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm just hanging out with these older guys and, and I'm, I'm learning, I'm meeting a lot of people. I'm, 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 I'm learning all this hustle. And then by the, you know, then, and then they're cooking methamphetamine and I'm, 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 I'm watching everything, you know, be done. And it seems like I said, people get busted and they move along. It seemed like it was just my turn on the, at the table. So, you know, uh, you know, 19, 20 years old, I'm, I'm, um, I, I start, you know, I, I, that they get busted and it seems like it's my turn to, up at the plate. And then there I am, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm blow, I'm, I'm blowing stuff up. I'm, 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 I'm cooking, you know, try, you know, trying to get in there and cook, get all the chemicals, get all the glass. Work, how, how much, how much are the, you using while, while you're, you're making this? I, I try, you know, I, I, I wonder, I try to, you know, since, to me, like it was sort of like a job and like a hustle to where like I, I my addiction rate of, of me like doing it was I, I was doing it. But like as you're making it or doing stuff like that, I, I like to keep that that clear head. And so like I I want to say at this time, I'm just trying I'm at this controlling stage. Like I'm trying to control. I'm not saying I, I didn't do it. I'm trying to control it. Like I'm yeah. trying to. Like, all right, I'm just going to a little bit in the morning. I'm, I, I still figure that if I'm eating and I'm going to sleep at night and, you know, and, I, and I'm doing this, that like my head's still like normal, you know, because I, I, I have an abundance to to wake up to and, and like and like and, and use or just be like no different than waking up with a drink in the morning. There's that, yo, there's about, that moment where we think we yeah. figured it out, you know, yeah, like whether, whether it's a window that's 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 like closed or this much open. But yeah, yeah right. It's, it's such a mind fuck. And, and, and uh, uh, I'll tell you by the, and then, oh, and um, man, I, for, I go pretty hard, dude. I, uh, the next day, I, I don't know like where the, where I lost control or, and all this stuff went, but it, it really feel like um, by the time I, I was 21, you know, years old, um, 22, 23, uh, I, I get busted for manufacturing. And, um, and uh, by this time I'm full fledged in the, in the game, man. I, 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 I love the hustle and bustle. I love the hustle and bustle of of running around uh, all night long, staying on the streets. That nice, the cars, the houses, the toys, all that stuff. Like it was like a, it was just like a. I, I love that life. I'm so. So at a certain point in time, how much? How much are? I mean, you know, I you know you probably can't put a dollar amount on it, but like life is good like right like as far as like money's coming I remember, in i remember this man i remember being like I, I try never to sell my house and i remember being at houses and like I, I go to these trap houses which you call them today and and selling drugs out of these houses and i remember having like a twin mattress or a, or a queen size mattress with a 
with a big old pile of money on it and just having multiple people sweep through, you know what I'm saying? Just that, and this, and this like blowing this whole neighborhood up and then like, and then, and then going and, and just money, but, like, and then, and it was just, but it, it wasn't even about that money, like taking, taking like bags of money or something like that and giving it to my mom or, or, or just like going out and, and buying stuff. Like I, I was like, like literally to me, it was like, like methamphetamine was my money. There was nothing, a house, a car or food or whatever you need. Like I, I could buy everything with this substance. Like I, money was, was cool, but like, I really loved it like having the substance that like that maybe it was just a control factor yeah. like that, you know because people are coming like i you know and they, and they want it and they give you like whatever you know like whatever whatever it want like i i see these people who who i became later i at a gas station just like just like like just in the disease like man just like oh i got this and i and i'd be like get away from me you know what I'm saying like like i like i was above them you know because yeah. i you know and and i, I and man and um getting you know by this time i've been in a few raids and uh and stuff with other people i knew and uh and then the next day you know you're getting raided and, you, and you're getting caught and, and by this time it's it, it's 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 gangs it's drugs it's manufacturing it's a chop shop it's it's like it's full on like top your pants down you know it, it and uh and it didn't stop me, you know. And yeah. so, you know why? And, and it didn't scare me. It didn't stop me. It didn't. It was just like, hey, this this is exactly where you where you like you knew this was going to happen. See, that to me, it's like I graduated to this next level. This was me in the disease. Like it, it was like, you know, uh, 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 man. I, and and I get out, man. And it, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, but I I, I end up in a four yard uh, in prison, Tashabi State Prison, in a four yard. Uh, you know, like uh, 21 years old, 22 years old, 23 years old. I, I, I get out, man. I, I beat, like I, I maneuver, whatever it is, is that evidence falls off. Like the only thing they catch me with is guns. Like I, I beat up this person, you know, which is, which was just my mom's boyfriend, you know, and, and, you know, and I, I got strikes, you know, and, uh, yeah. and, I, and I feel like I belong now. And, and, and this is when the disease gets, gets hurt. So now I'm coming out, man. And, uh, and, uh, and, I, and I'm having that little girl and I, and, uh, and the disease. And now like, now I'm, I'm really addicted. Now you're like, you try to, it's, you come out years later and you're still trying to be connected in with that person you were three years ago. How, how long were you, how said, long were you in were you jail or prison? Uh, I, I did, I was in and out for the next 15 years. From, from okay. that time, I was in and out for 15 years. Like I, I, I come out and draw a, 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 a time progress. I might've, I, you know, six months, to I, I I never stayed out a year. I mean nine months. Does now months. does does it come Five. to a point when like when it's just not it's kind of like not that big a deal when you end up going back or, or, or... Uh, I never I never thought about none of that stuff. This is this is the thing is that as as time progressed and and, and I'm going out I'm chasing that lifestyle I'm I make, I'm coming out trying to make some you know quick money so I'm trying to manufacture some stuff or I'm trying to try to get it to get some money in my pocket to. To be, or, or I'm out collecting money that was owed for me from years ago, type thing. So yeah. I'm like, you know, you're right, you know, you're you're chasing all this lifestyle that you from three years ago or two years ago or one year ago, and and uh and and and, I'm, and, and at the same time, like uh, I'm on parole now, so now like I'm trying to get a job and be good on paper and 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 check in, but that that's short lived, and uh, and 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 for the thing is, is that what now I I didn't think I was addicted. Or, or, or that it was a problem, but now, now I'm getting out and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and, I'm, and now I'm getting high, like my own supply Yeah. And now. And now like, and now I feel like I, I, I'm making it just so I could do it. You know, like it's, I'm, I'm making it just, just to, just to feed me. And, um, hey, and, explain uh, to people, by the way, the progression and the way the disease works. I've heard you mention before, you know, you get out of some sort of incarceration facility and, you start with like a nice Corona, you know, like, and, and then by that night, you know, you're smoking meth or shooting heroin in some of the darkest alleys in the city. That, yeah, that is uh, multiple times, multiple times. This, this is too, is I, I multiple times I, I get out and, and people are like, you're free, you're free. You know, you, you make like this, this, this toilet paper bird in a cage and you let it out type stuff before you, and, 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 uh, uh, you're full of anxiety. You're full of fear. You're full of emotions that you 
do not know how to comprehend and deal with. And I'm, and I'm getting out and I feel like I'm everything but free. And what I am as I get out and I celebrate every single time, it didn't matter that first time I got out from Cashby state prison to the last time when I got out of Delano state prison, what I do is I, as I, what I do is I celebrate and I knew, and I you know, and I, maybe this time I'll just take a drink. You know, maybe, you know, this time I'm not going to use, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to check in. I'm going to do good. I, I, you're, you're telling yourself this, but I, 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 I get to a bus stop. I, I get a Corona. I, I open it up waiting for my bus to go from whatever, from whatever place I was over, you know, to, to Antelope Valley. And um, I crashed that. And by the time I arrived in Antelope Valley, I, I, I wasn't thirsty no more. What I was is I was, I wanted I wanted uh, I, I wanted to feed that demon inside me because what it is is I just opened up the progressive that disease that mental illness that obsession of the mind right like I go from drinking to man I know I, I know what now like the, maybe the drink hits too hard and I'm like fuck I know what could fix this right yeah and that's a little bump and that's a little bump knowing and that's full on no the insanity is is full on knowing as soon as I get there. And knowing that when I take that drink or I take that hit of weed, because I I know that I got a problem with methamphetamine. I I, I know one hundred percent know. See, but I don't think I got a problem with alcohol because it's legal. It's legal. Yeah. Right. I don't I don't think I have a problem with weed because I mean honestly, who has a pro- who has a problem with weed? You know what I'm thinking, right? Like it's the meth is my problem, and then and then the lies. You know, uh, you know, if I'm only smoking it and I'm only snorting it, then uh, then I, I'm not that bad because look at those people who who, who put it in their vein. You know, and uh, and and I'm gonna tell you, I get out, man, and 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 the first, like, I I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait deep down, like, what was wrong? I'm irritated, I'm frustrated, I like, oh, nothing's working out, why? Right. The parole's my problem, you know. If they would just listen to me, you know, like, <laughs> I get loaded, man. What I do is I start off and I and I, I run into somebody I know, and 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 uh, and I put a taste in my mouth, and I'm gonna tell you, from the moment I put that taste in my mouth, all bets are off, and I don't care. I'm gonna. I want to talk to my daughter, my family, my whoever it was, all the stuff that I wrote them and told them and, and secure that like this time it's going to be different when I get out, man. It, it was it was never dinner, never different. I disappeared just like when I was a kid and I disappeared for two weeks or three weeks on my bike as a, and, and, and just just in the disease, man. Where am I? I'm, I'm anywhere. But I'm in, what I am is I'm out there just trying to I'm getting comfortable with my feelings by 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 shoving them all down and, and using one more time, man. And I'm chasing that. I'm chasing that for you. Right. And, um, man, I, I'm going to tell you like, it, I, I, there's many times I, 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 there's times I got out and within 30 days, I'm right back in because I, I, I pick up that drink. The drink takes me to a drug. The drug takes me, you know, to prison every single time, man. Yeah. And 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 and, and everybody believe, you know, like, and, and and there's a lot of people in my life, like my daughter's mom or or my 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 mom or you know, that trying to you know trying to really make the best environment for me to so I could succeed. But man, like I, I was doing nothing. I was doing nothing to treat the disease inside me, man. I was I was like I, I wanted it, and 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 sometimes and, and and a lot of times too, like my mom was. You know, like she was in the disease. So I, like I, I, I that even if I cut myself off from every which where place I know, like I know my I know I know where to go. Like I, I go to my mom's house. Right. Yeah. And I go to my mom's house and I I would get that little bit, man. And, and, and it'd be good. Maybe I, I go to work for the next week or two or I, you know, uh, you know, I, I'd be a success. I, you know, I, I, I. I barbecue, you know, meet friends. I look good, and then, and then one night I'm staying, I'm, 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 I'm there, and I'm like, I'm gone, man, and I, and I don't come back, and I, and I break, and I, and I disrupt all those hearts of the people around me, man. I, I'm breaking them one more time. How, how did you the last time in 2013? You know, walk me up to that, that bottom, and and how you actually were ready to change because, and I've heard you say this too, like not making a decision is a decision. Mm-hmm. Mm, absolutely. I love, I love, I, I love that and how true that is. And I'm going to tell you from, from the times I'm talking about now of getting out and, and getting arrested, getting out and getting arrested. Uh, there was a time like, and I'm only doing meth and I'm, and like my, my biggest highlight in the world was I, I wanted to, I wanted to really, I wanted to uh, get to a level, a, a lower level yard. And I wanted to sell drugs on the yard. And that was, that was my game, you know? And, uh, and, uh, and I also wanted, like, I, I was one of those ones I told myself over and over and over, like, uh, uh, I'm not that bad because I don't put a needle in my arm, you know. 
And I'm gonna tell you, my my last little run in prison, um, um, I, I made it to that lower level yard, and uh, I bring drugs from outside, and to the, and you know, I manip, you know, I get it in, I get it, and um, and I was this came, what came along is that um, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm snorting it and I'm smoking in there, and 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 this pipe breaks, and I'm and I I bring these little binkies or, or you know syringes, and for the very first time, one time, man, I all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put a needle on my arm and I'm gonna shoot this while I'm here. And I and I shoot it for the very first time when I'm in prison. And I'm thinking that this is something that's just gonna this is just stand here. And, this is only gonna happen while I'm in prison. <laughs> and I right. This is yeah. this is this is gonna stay here. And I the get deal out. the deals right you make with yourself the deals you make with yourself, man. That's yeah. I know I'm I'm strong enough. And uh, I get out in like the end of 2011, and I I. And I'm going to tell you, from a 2011, like for the next year and a half, you know, even though I was in jail and I was incarcerated, man, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not stop putting a needle on my arm, dude. Like, it, I, 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 once and for all, like, I went full board and it, and it took me from there, it took me from here to there quick. And not only that, man, it seems like meth was like a thing of the, now it seems like meth is like a thing of cycling out, you know, and now, now we're like in a fentanyl crisis. Like back then I feel like I'm, I'm, I, I stepped right into this heroin, you know, and, and, yes. and the heroin phase. And the next thing I know, I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm getting out and, and heroin, it seems like, and, and I'm, and I'm mixing meth and heroin, man, I'm doing these speed balls and I'm, and I, I literally went from, from here to like, boom, there quick. And, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, I got track, like I, I, I got track marks, you know. I'm hanging, all the people I've been hanging out with for many, many years. I've been putting a needle in their arm. Now, now I'm, I'm right there with them. See, I always thought I was different, you know. I always thought I was, I was above you because I, you know, I wasn't there yet, you know. And uh, I, I got track marks from my ankles up, up to my neck, you know, all the way down my arms. I'm, 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 my arms are wrapped up. I'm, I'm bird bathing in bathrooms. I'm, 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 I'm a mess, dude. And I, and I can't stop, dude. I, like it, I'm, I really know how that, how how the disease has that hold on you to where like you can't explain it man but like for those people who know like it, it had a grip on me like no other i didn't it, it, I, I didn't care about anything else i just if i could put something i i didn't feel like i was e any bit normal until i could put that in me and then i felt like i was i was even out you know so how and does that guy become the guy that i'm talking to now that's answering the doorbell for these kids like the jolly kid. giant I'm gonna tell you, man. I was um, on 2000 and 2000 and 2012, man. I I I went to a treatment center, you know, and um, I was there for five or six months, dude. I got 168 traffic tickets, dude. I I never had a driver's license my whole life. I never graduated high school. I uh, I've been in and out of prison. I, I, at this point, I can't even stay out of jail for for 15 days. Like I, I, it doesn't matter how long I was in. Like I, I cannot stay out. Like 15 to to three weeks, man, and I'm I'm right back in this on another violation because I, I I get out and I immediately lose and I immediately violate and I immediately get busted and I'm I'm back in and uh and I and I and I and I just figure you know like um I go to this treatment center and and, and I get I get all this all this spiritualness and I and what it is is I, I work on I work on my outside I, I figure you know like and they talk about that program as an inside job and I. And maybe I thought it was an outside job. I thought maybe if I just, you know, if I, if I got the, the color of my skin was looking good, you know, like normal, not yellow, you know, like, you no. Know, and uh, if my hair was actually like, you know, cut and, and, I, and I'm shaved and I'm looking good and uh, and, I, and I'm putting some weight on because now I'm working out and I'm feeling better about myself. I got some I got some clean clothes, clean socks, clean underwear and uh and I, and I'm, and I'm showing up, like I showed up, I went to meetings there. Like they, they tell me go to meetings, I find a sponsor and I do this stuff. And I, and I, and I did this stuff and I talk about recovery and what blows my mind is after doing everything that was there at that treatment center is I, I got out and, uh, I went to, I went to jail. I went to court for all those tickets. And I, I remember first time ever, man, I'm, I'm sober mind, man, sober 100%. 100 percent i've been six months you know yeah. uh, five five months dude and it's right after single de mayo and i go to court for this tick these tickets and i got all this paperwork from the from the from the the city my pro officer from the program like showing how good of a person i've been for the past months and i i remember going to that courtroom 
and 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 then being like uh, reprimand them, you know, like you know, people like you don't change, Garrett. Man, when look at your record, man. You know, like it, 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 all this stuff means nothing to us, right? And and, and this is and it's not about that. You're right. You're right. Because I, I just they're right. You know, they are right. Yeah, uh, but it I, is I, like you. I can tell you, like you got the wrong judge too. I mean, yeah. like so. I mean, because like sometimes yeah. there is forgiveness there. Sometimes there's not. But at the end of the day, like to what you said. We all have consequences once it's not like we get sober and everything that we did just disappears or evaporates. There's the, the only way out is going through it. And this was your way through. They talk about like the silent prayers. I remember getting, I never, I've never in my life in the past 15 years ever got cuffed up sober, clean and sober. I'm yeah. straight from a program. I, I never walked into the front of a courthouse. I never, got arrested like uh, I'm, I'm they reprimand me they, they take me in the back i'm gonna tell you man like i for the very first time man ever i go inside there and they put me in this holding tank before they drop me downstairs to get on the bus and i'm, I'm sitting there in this holding tank on this concrete bed I, i've been in this place many many times it's same probably the same exact spot but something was different man like i really reached down to that prayer like man i i i maybe i had to do this had a, a, this little bit of sobriety, you know, a little bit of sobriety, me to 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 really experience this like that. That I really deep down inside me don't want to do this, man. And I'm gonna tell you, this is what happens for me for the next for the next year, man. Is that I I, I get out like I, I really thought, man. This is the thing. I really thought that I was, you know, I was so I was gonna stay sober and get sober. I'm reading the 12 book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm in jail. Like I'm I'm just trying to do my time and get out and do good and. uh I, I, I get out for work release, man. I, I put a needle in my arm. Seven days later, I'm right back in the county jail where I just left thinking, what happened? You know, I, I do a little bit more county time. I get out on, on December like 28th of 2012. I get out, man. And 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 I have nothing, man. Like I, I have nothing. I and I and I and I somehow find a ride from LA County to Palmdale. You know, and uh, and I get over there. And what I do is I as I as I as I put a needle in my arm, right? I'm loaded. I'm calling that treatment center I, I've been out of now for the year, talking about I want my stuff back. And I and, and people are trying to help me, but I, I, I can't stop putting a needle on my arm on on uh, on, on on Valentine's Day of two thousand on uh, two thousand thirteen, man. I'm I'm in I'm 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 spiritually, mentally and physically broken in every which level, man. Like and I and I and I got this track marks I'm all over my body. I, 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 I can't stop shooting heroin and I can't stop shooting spoon. I'm in, I'm, I, and I'm in this thing. And, and like, uh, I, I call that person, all of us gangsters call. And, and when we get in trouble, I call my mom and I say, <laughs> I do want to get loaded and, you know, and, and then I get, I mean, I get in a little bit of a shootout that day, that morning on Valentine's day, I get in a little bit of a, I get in the, I get shot at a little you know? bit of a shootout. What happens? I get shot at, man. This guy, you know, he's shooting at me. It's just like a, a street beef, and we finally come across each other. He's shooting at me. I'm, I'm chasing after him. Like it's 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 just one of those, you know, scenes. And you know, I, 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 you know, I, when you have nothing left, when you're emotionally, spiritually, I'm, I'm bankrupt. Like I I I wish I would have got killed yeah. or, or sh you know something something would have done, you know. And um, that night, man, I I I, I want revenge, right? I want revenge. I, I, I'm going to go after this guy on the streets now, you know, and uh, I, I, I go get loaded with my mom. You know, I have this friend with me. We get dropped off at this liquor store from that liquor store to um, from that liquor store. I walk to my hideout, which is just, a, you know, a place that everybody knows anyways. And uh, <laughs> and an up duty officer sees me and he, and he and he follows me over there. And they come to, they arrest me one more time, dude. They, they arrested me one more time. I, 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 I get arrested, dude. I end up getting violated from my parole. I, I go to county, you know, I'm, 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 I'm the DTs and the, and the, and the, and the lines of county jail. I'm, 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 I'm falling asleep. I'm hitting the back of your back with my face as I'm nodding out, you know, cause I can't stay awake. I, I, I can't eat the peanut butter and jelly. I can only drink this Kool-Aid. I, 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 you know, I go through and, and um, man, they, they call me parole board and, and they, they say, Hey man, we're going to give you another program. And uh, I take it, man, get out of jail free card. Right. And on uh, March 17th of 2013, dude, I, I, I arrive at another treatment center and I, I, I don't know, like at, at this point, like I'm, I'm, I'm defeated on the inside. I, but this is the thing is I don't know if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a stay or I'm a leave, like, but I, I have nothing, dude. Like I have absolutely nothing but that, but this, 
see-through blue jumpsuit, these flip-flops that are holding my hand, you know, that are on my feet from the shower shoes from jail and then a manila envelope, bright green boxes. Dude, I'm sitting there. I got, I'm in that position that maybe, maybe people been in, you know, like this, you know? And I, and I don't know if you're praying or if you're in silence or are you thinking once again, how did I get here to this spot once again? And um, I hear a guy's voice, dude. And, um, and it's it's a guy that I knew. His name's Levi, dude. And, and Levi comes through and he's like, man, he's like, he's like, Garrett. And he sounds so like opposite of me at this moment. He's cheerful. He's vibrant. He's joyful. He's like, he's enthusiastic about, you know, his he, Garrett, man to see me, man. He walks up to me and he gives me this big old warm welcoming hug and he says, man, so good to see you, Garrett. He's like, man, I, I, I hope you stay. And maybe I just needed some something to go through me to, to, to really, to answer with all the all the stuff I'm going inside, yeah. all the vision of going on in between my head and my heart because this, in between my head and my heart is a spot to where where it's really, 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 really disturbed, man. This is the, this is where I got to work on. Is this yeah. my brain? My heart. I worked on the outside appearance. It didn't, and, it, and, and, and I, and I, and I, boom, I ended up right back here, man. And I, and for the very first time, I, I talk about that decision. And I talk about up to this point in my life, the decisions, my circumstances been making the decisions for me. I've been getting yet another parole violation. Yet, you know, like a, 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 if I wanted to see my daughter, yet, like if I, if I needed a job, like a, yet, I, I need to, I need to do these things in order for this. And I felt like at this moment, a product of my environment, like I, 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 I you know, I, I walked into this office of the treatment center and for the very first time after receiving this big old hug from Levi, man, and him telling me, hey, I hope you stay. I walked in there for the very first time. Like I, I dug deep down inside me, man. And and, and, and I had an option. You can you could go, like you could leave or you could stay. And I and I and like I dug deep because deep down I really wanted it, man. Enough of enough of me was out of the way to where I deep down, man, and I and I made a decision and I said I'll stay. And I'm gonna say like a and I and I worked on that decision every single day up to the, my point of my life right now, man. Like every single day. I still wake up every single day and I make a decision that I I want to stay, man. Like I I I I want my life that I have now. Like I want those little kids coming up to my door. Yeah. I want to be out there fixing their bikes in the, in the, in the garage for all the neighborhood boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to dress them all up in motorcycle gear and take them to the movies. You know, like I, 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 I longed for this life. And I'm going to tell you the level of work that goes from that point to this point is a lot of work, man, to, to clear from their mind to your heart, man. Like that is, that isn't, that isn't, that is a journey for everybody, like in my journey, it might not be your journey, but I'm gonna tell you the the work is a lot of the same. It's like we have to get in and we have to we have to get in there. And, and just when you think, you know what, man, I really think I got a lot of it cleared out of the way. More stuff comes, dude. And you gotta and and this is the this is the major thing for maybe uh, for me. It was that pen to paper. It was yeah. I could talk about I could talk about stuff all day long and and that does give it some relief from me like it, it gives me it gives it release from the body but, but it's the excited. action it's the the action it's the action the action what will they talk about it in the book and stuff like that like you know like the the labor of like I'd rather push you know a a a, 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 a small cargo load up a hill like that that's the labor I'm I'm used to like let me let me <laughs> force all this stuff up because I'm big I'm strong you know look at me yeah. I can that but to to be able to sit down and 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 be alone with myself and to be able to put this stuff that's going on in my mind onto a pad of paper and then being able to share that with somebody else and not be scared and not be and not let myself you know and, and not let my pride get in the way and not let my ego get in the way and just and just be level on level ground and that's what it's about here in the rooms of alcoholics anonymous are and any recovery man it's about on we're being on level ground right now, dude. We're all, nobody's above the next person here. We're all just trying to, you know, like our, our lives are all different, but one down deep down, we know that we're all the arm links, you know, from that, from that drink hit or fix inside of our system, man. And I, and I come here, dude. And like, and I'm talking about the lives that we get and the lives that we want and the, and the lives that we thought we deserved and stuff like this is that uh, I, I, the life and recovery men carry two different, two different sides, dude. Like, like, like my, my recovery, they, they tell you like, like recovery is the, is the, 
is the is the one thing that's going to disrupt your life the most, man. Because this <laughs> is what happens. It's not we talk about stuff here all day long. I mean, and what we talk about is this, man. Is is that that's how how we are the same and all this stuff, and and that we're all the same, like you know, in, inside the meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous or in Narcotics Anonymous and all this stuff, man. And I'm gonna tell you, the thing is, is that we we that we all have in common is that um, we have a forgetter. See, and I forget about the drink hit or fix that I had just before I got in here because my life gets really good. And the more life and the, and the more life I get here, I really like sometimes I, you know, you see it and we feel it. We maybe know somebody it happens to it could be ourself is that we know that, that like my life starts getting full here. When I, when I came in here, like my life was looking very, very, very empty. Right. How did and you so get my, it? How did you make it full again? Like w- walk me through some of the things that you I were feel, able to do. To this day, my life is filled, but my life is still full with alcoholics and honest. See, my my life, I haven't my 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 program like that, like that's that's my my number one goal, my number one thing is I'm still putting pad, I'm still putting pen to paper, I'm still active member, I still got a commitment, I'm still working with other alcoholics, man, because like like I, I that that they 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 bring me level man it's not because i got all this stuff that i'm above all these people that are meetings now is that i have to be i have to bring my ego and my pride and all that stuff aside and i have to and i have to sit down with the wounded man and know that i'm no different than i'm 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 i'm, I'm not that far away man you know and if i if i can't if i don't have that like it's the promise right they they talk about it in the book man like my pro, my sponsor said one thing man he said after i take you the 12 steps of alcoholics anonymous you have to take somebody to the 12 steps of alcoholics anonymous and i didn't start growing and learning about me until i started that you know until i i got into that 12 step progress of of working with others man like it's it's like the textbook stuff of you working the the first 12 steps is like it's like you're in college or you're in school and some people got an advanced class some people got a long term you know like semesters and stuff like this but like it's at your own pace it's at your pace right like if you really want it some people want it more than others man and i and i want it because i i got to i got to i got to the relief of the of the of, of 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 the I got the relief of 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 doing the work and feeling the benefits and the benefits in it about the like you know they talk about don't let the gifts of recovery get in the way gifts of recovery yes. because we sit here man we get all these gifts back and we think that 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 is recovery that's not recovery that's life that's what you're that's why we came here like I can't get my life mixed up the responsibilities of of paying bills and having a car or a house and taking my kids places and and doing all that stuff that's life that's what that's what people in society are doing right i didn't know i i think that's recovery but that's not recovery that's like a, that's just that's what recovery's done for me it, it put me back in a place of a society right but it, it's not about getting that stuff back because we, we know like a lot of us get that stuff back many times over and over and over again and we're and we're dry and we're grumpy and we're and we're like we're and we you know we're and we're hateful and we're, we're resentful against all this stuff the thing is how do i keep it man how do you keep it you want to keep it i want to keep it like I, I i i i don't necessarily want to keep it i want to grow more like I, I, I how can i better it how can i how can i how can i get up man and then and, and uh you know like i man I, I i i have to stay in the work man like it, and, and for some people like uh I, I, it may be different you know like but I, I have to force myself and find the time to put it in my program to to not 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 only just to keep the stuff i have but to make me a better person overall character wise you know like my social skills my uh, my like 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 being able to you know just to to, to stay out of my own damn way, dude. Yeah, I'm- well, that's a, that's a huge thing. You, you, I mean, staying out of our own way is, like you said, like from the head to the heart. That's like the biggest. That's the biggest issue that I have today. It's so relatable because all the all the stuff that we did and all the stuff that got us to our knees, like we still have so much work to do to experience the gifts. I, I'm curious to know um, because you went deep into the wilderness, right? So did I with alcohol and drugs. What was, was there a moment early on in your recovery where you were able to use your program and it made you feel good? Because that's a big thing, right? Like meth, alcohol, meth for me too. Like I was a huge like cocaine and speed guy. Um, that, that, that made me feel whole for, you, for moments, right? But it did. And I was constantly chasing that. And then there was a point in my life where I finally was, all right, like fi- ready to take suggestions. And I did. And I started to use the program 
and it made me feel good. Like it started to build that self-esteem. Like your boy Levi. Like Levi doesn't come in with that great attitude and, and, and charisma without a program or God or something behind him. So was there a moment for you early on where, where that changed? Uh, and, um, I'm going to tell you, um, when they talk about enthusiasm, and enthusiasm is something that I carry with me, and I don't know if it's something that I got along the way. I don't know if it's something, but like the, the passion, enthusiasm that I, I have for this program because it has given me so much, and uh, uh, you know, and, and and you brought up another thing of talking about that that God, you know, and uh, enthusiasm. When you break it down into the Greek dictionary and all this stuff, it it means like one with God. How come it is like when I go to and I and I speak or I share about recovery, like I get enthusiastic, like I get a burst of energy coming from my heart to my head. To, to carry to carry a message with depth and weight that 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 they know that to be able to help another alcoholic to let you know that like like that we are not different that we we might come from different places but like you know like but it it like I, I get passionate about it because because that the, the some people maybe never get that enthusiasm or that passion because maybe like the they maybe their product of their circumstances has brought them differently than me like my my circumstances, like uh, they, they talk about, like you know, the family, or they're, they're like they get it, they stay sober on a, you know, a birthday a year, and maybe they, you know, they're still working the steps, you know, like it, it's good, but like, like the benefits, man, like the benefits of some, you know, like actually doing the work as it suggests. I don't have to change nothing, man. That's this is this is a step. See, we're men, and we are people who really like to put like the the, the to change stuff. This, just, I just want to change or bend this and this and that. I don't have to do none of that, man. It, it gives me clear cut direction yeah. from the beginning and of what I need to do. And it's and, and it's not this. It's that what it's doing me. It's showing me the perfect twelve step program, and it, and it, and, it, and I'm doing it. And I, I, I'm experiencing it, and it, and 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 someone's so I can become a teacher of it, man. That and and, and I'm gonna tell you, man. That, like I, I, I um, my dad. You know, I, I rebuilt that relationship with my dad, you know, and uh, and and he passed away and I'm like, something happened. And like, it's it's I, I can't, man. And a year after that, man, that 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 mom I love, like sometimes the people you love the most are the people you got to stay away from. I rebuilt that relationship with my mom, even though I was and I, I was clean and sober. And, 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 and but it doesn't mean just because I'm clean and sober doesn't mean the world has to be clean and sober. And I and I still went there and I. And I practiced the love that I was taught here in the program of AA to be able to carry that into people. That because that uh, so this is that at the very least, man. Like what it is is it's, it's uh, I'm an example of this program. You know, people see me from way back then, and they see me now, and they're like, "Damn, Garrett was like he was out there." Yeah, and I, yeah. I was, and now you're and a walking billboard for recovery, right? I'm now. a walking billboard recovery because, and it's never. It's never really anything like we can say, like what we say is what we say. It's all from the book and it's doing the work here. But what it is, is I'm a, I'm a prime example of working the program and staying connected. That's that, that's the staying, right? You know, that the progress of not like, I, I, I never get this. I got to stay continuously doing this work, man, because, because, because as I go here more like, I, and, and it's all about the level of freedom you want. How free do you want to be? Like I was in misery. I was pain still to this day. Like I'm, a, I'm like, it, it has worked in every aspect of, 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 of the world for me. Every, every, every day of, of, of emotion, the therapeutic to like, like all this stuff and, and still stuff pops up. And you're still talking, you're talking about recovery, right? The 12 steps. I'm talking about recovery, yeah. the 12 steps of alcoholics and all yeah. and, and yeah. 12 steps and, and working like this, this, this basic, this basic program has worked in all areas of my life, man. And it, and it continues to work because I, I don't disregard it, man. No matter how busy my life is and how full my life is, I don't bury it, man. But you brought up a spirit, a very, very big thing. You brought up God, man. And I'm going to tell you, I wasn't, I, I, I didn't come in here as like, oh, God, or shouting from like the cliff's edge, like God save me or, or anything like that. It wasn't like, I, I was, I was, I was very like, it, it was just like, whatever like you know but i'm gonna tell you as 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 the more time I, I i put in here and the more work i did and as much as i'd be like I, I i say it but i really wasn't feeling it 
man. But I, I hung around with these people with big gods, dude. And they, and I, and I asked them and I thought they'd be lying, man. I'd be like, man, like, do you really pray every day? Like, you know, do you really get on your knees out of bed and pray every single day? Like, I, I, I just, I don't get that, you know, like I, that just really bothers. Like I, I, I don't get that because I don't do that. Right. Like I, I can understand waking up. I'll have a, you know, five seconds of a thank you God for my day. And, a, and I'd be out like, you know, you know, like, and, and, and so like I, I, but things started happening in my life that were nothing other than, than, than God, you know what I'm saying? And they say that like, it's, it's crazy. Like you either find God or you won't, but you won't know the difference. Like, right until all of a sudden the time comes where you needed God and that you haven't found him. So he's not there for you to, 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 to tap into. There has been many times that when I, the times comes that when, you know, like you're, you're faced with the, the turmoils of life. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, like, I, like I, I have found a, a, a God or a higher power here in the, in the room. By doing it's the quite work. the muscle to be able to flex when, it, and it, then it's it, like it, that. Okay. It's that muscle memory. I, I, I have this connection. I have this connection because that's that's the connection that you need. That's gonna that that your phone's gonna be too heavy to pick up. Like that, that's the connect. That's the power you have to connect into or tap into when that moment of of, of alcohol or drink and you know because that's just the all of a sudden it, it's it's way before you know it's way before we tap into like oh I just took a drink or I just took a yeah. shot. It, way before like you like it's, it's that, that i i tap into this power greater than myself and i i call it god and i'm gonna tell you it strengthened when my dad died it really strengthened when my mom when my mom died and it, and I, I i just really like continue to like i i i was really like thought meditating and, and stuff like i thought i knew how you know but i i i honestly got into yoga and they and then one day the instructor was like do you um you want to stretch or you want to meditate? And I was like, well, let's just do a little, you know, meditation, right? And I'm going to tell you, it, br it brought on a new meeting. And then every time I'm meeting up, like, all right, you want to stretch or you want uh, more meditation, more meditation. And I'm going to tell you, I got into, and what I did is I, 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 I put all my prejudices aside and I, and I, and I learned something new, man. And, and, and God, you know, and, and God revealed to me one more time that, you know, that little bit of, 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 of and I was taught, man, I, I, I sort of picked up this fundamental of meditation and prayer and, uh, and, and, and it works, man. And it, and it, and it, and I, picked, and I, I'm going to tell you, I, I really wasn't like one to talk about it. Like I, I'm too big and masculine. And I talk <laughs> to beats like it's God and a higher power and meditation isn't like going to be the thing, you know, but I, I, but I, I, I really feel today as that, as time goes by like that, 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 tapping into a god and a higher power and and all that stuff man it is, is a very 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 fundamental thing that that just like it's unexplainable unless you do it man yeah like if you do it then you know like it's like one of those things that you can look at somebody and you just know, like boom like you know like when i'm speaking and and all that stuff like it, it's 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 it is it is it my I, I really believe that it's 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 a it's a it's a message carried with depth depth and weight, dude. It, it, Where is it coming from, right? Yeah, I, a couple more things. God, it's carrying that message that God is using me to speak to you guys to be able to carry a message depth and weight to let you know. It just just profound out how I recovered. That's all I got is how I recovered, man. How I found God and how I keep in that contact with God and how I keep connected in the program. So the thing is, is I gotta keep it, man. I gotta keep connected. I gotta, I gotta keep working at it, man. I, I can't just come here and then and, and do all this work and then let it die. Yeah. Cause then because then I die slowly with and it. And then the, well, then that forgetter creeps in. All right. Well, yes. well, one other thing I want to ask you, because it was clear as we started this, I kind of want to finish where we started. Uh, you know, you're camping with your kids, you know, the, 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 the neighborhood kids feel so comfortable just kind of rolling up to your place. How, how has your relationship with your kids? Like, how do you share or, or are they too young now? Do they know you're in recovery? Um, Dude, I'm 100% like I, I, with my daughter, she's older. So she, so I was, I was new and she was eight, nine years old, you know, and, and, and I'm going to tell you what's very hard is. It's with being out there lost for eight years. And I'm going to tell you that first eight, eight and a half years of that lostness I talk about is, is, is very, 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 it, it's, it's everything 
it's the worst of everything you can ever think about it as a, a, a dad and his daughter relationship, as in like with the drugs and the abuse. We, we see it all the time, you know, and, and it's, 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 it's neglect. It's, it's, it's just, it, it's just pure of a dad not being present in his child's life, man. And not only not knowing that just doesn't know how to be a dad. And I'm 100% like my kids, like I, I can't, my kids have to know. I, 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 if I live a life of recovery and, and like I, I, I preach it, I talk about it. I, I, it's in my house. It's, 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 it's my, my way of life that uh, my kids have to know about that. You know, my, my daughter, like she, 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 you know, if I was speaking or the meetings or in recovery, like that's, I had, a, that's the only life I knew, man. Like that's the only, the only new way, this new way of life as I was learning it, my daughter was sort of like, I'm getting her every other weekend and she's, She's going with me, right? Like she's just, what are we doing? I'm going to an NA picnic. I'm 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 going to a beach meeting. I, I go to a meeting. I I I I I I put her in a surf class and I go to a meeting. You know, like I or or you know, and what this is the major thing is that a lot of times our kids just want to hang out. They just want your time, man. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like an amusement park. It doesn't have to be movies. They just want to know what their parents are doing. And I couldn't hide. I couldn't. I had to let her see what her dad was doing, because all of a sudden, like you know, this. If, if, if I just this is, I, I'm honest. I'm open, and I and, and as much as those uncomfortable conversations you gotta have of, of with them is is what I did, and I'm gonna tell you our bond today, of going through all that stuff is 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 only a work of God. You know, it's just I I cannot like I. It can bring me to tears. So it, to to this day, when I'm with my daughter and I and I I, I was with her, and uh, she knows I'm full. She's not like she's not, you know, but like she was like talking. We're in we're conversation. We're doing lunch or something like that. You know, just having a great old time. And she's talking about one of her friends, and 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 she says, "Dad, she's like I'm a, I'm an AA baby, <laughs> right, right." And you're just like, and she's just like, you know, I got a, you know, and and and. And I, and she is, because I was so, I was so vigilant in, in my recovery early on, that I and and bringing her with me, that 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 because it, it has taught me like I didn't know nothing else like I knew the streets, gangs, drugs, you know, bars, all this. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing else. I did jail time, right? I didn't <laughs> know about like going to a movie or going to a beach or going to a a show or. Or I, 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 I never experienced nothing, nothing. It's right? kind of crazy, Garrett. Like you, you look at, you know, kids who grow up in active addiction full time, right? So let's say from zero to 18, as opposed to kids who grow up with parents in recovery, like in active recovery. I mean, it's two different. Ki- I mean, I'm sorry. It yeah. is like you, you uh, like an AA baby is usually a pretty, pretty, pretty happy, carefree kid with, with 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 a solution based mindset because they've seen so that based mindset man I love that yeah absolutely yeah Gary you're the man dude anything else I I I, I knew Gary was like uh, Gary Menkes was like you got to talk to him um, <laughs> yeah I I I love it man and I, I just love sharing and I love speaking man and any any time that anywhere you can put me I just I if it's to talk about recovery like I'm I tell you I like. My my enthusiasm, you know, to to speak about to not only be an example of this program, but to be able to speak about it, man, is is just like to carry this message, man. Is that it's the farther I can push it out, the more people I can connect with, the more it it, it just, man, it, it it it's it's a blessing to me. It's like, man, you know, yeah. what a gift. Well, with weight and depth, you gave us a great message today, man. So I appreciate you. I'm gonna I'll send you this link. Um, Please do. Yeah, it'll it'll go up tomorrow or Wednesday. Perfect, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, and it's stay great- in touch, man. I appreciate your time, Garrett. You're welcome, man. Thank you so much. All right, man. See you, bud. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for listening to The Payoff with Pete. Once again, I'm Pete Souza. And, of course, we are part of the Rogue Media Network. All kinds of good podcasts you can find at roguemedianetwork.com. And, of course, you can find this podcast and all those other ones wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, other spots like that. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.
Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com. 